Hi, this video will demonstrate how to construct a perpendicular line passing through a given point. So my problem is I want a perpendicular line to x plus y equals 4 passing through the point 15 minus 5. The first thing I'm going to do is take my line x plus y equals 4 and I need to get it in slope intercept form so I can determine the slope. That is, slope intercept form is when I get it in the form y equals mx plus b. Then the coefficient out in front of my x term is my slope and I can just read it off. So currently I have x plus y equals 4. So I want to isolate my y on the right on the left hand side by moving my x over. Okay? So now I subtract x both sides and I get this in slope intercept form where y equals minus x plus 4. So when the slope of my original line is negative 1. And now I'm trying to construct a perpendicular line. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite, first of all. Opposite meaning change the sign. Okay? And then they have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Reciprocals meaning take the reciprocal of my given slope. My current slope is negative 1. So opposite, it's going to become positive. And then the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 is just 1, so my new slope is going to be 1. So my new line is going to start off y equals x plus b. All right? And my new, because my new slope is 1, so a 1 is out in front of the x, I don't write it, but it is there. And now, in order to determine my b, I'm going to have to use this point, 15 minus 5. So I have the point 15 minus 5. And that's the same thing as having an x and a y, so I'm going to plug those in. 15 for x and minus 5 for y. So I get minus 5 equals 15 plus b. And now I'm going to solve for b. So I need to isolate b on one side and my numbers on the other. I'm going to do that by subtracting 15 each side. Right, 15 minus 15 is 0, and then I have a b out here, so I get b. And minus 5 and minus 15 gives me minus 20. So I see that b equals minus 20. And now for my last step, I'm going to take my b, okay, and plug it back into this equation so that I can write the equation of the final line, which is going to be y equals x minus 20. That is my new perpendicular line. 